Okay guys, this is the CIV Guess 67 mechanical keyboard. This is a build kit, so you can build this mechanical keyboard yourself. And I'm going to show you how I build this mechanical keyboard in this video. As you can see, I've taken it out from the box and I'm show, I'll show you the parts that it comes with uh, and some specs of these um, mechanical keyboard. Hi guys, my name's Ian. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I do mostly unboxing and tutorial videos. And if you guys are interested in this type of content, do consider to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell so that you get notified of my future videos. All right, so CIV Gas 67, right? So this is what it comes in the box. You've got some instruction, right? Um, warranty card, okay, and some it's all in Chinese, so uh, you might need to use Google Lens to translate it. Uh, and uh, some of the instructions here to show you how to build the keyboard and some of the parts that it comes with. Uh, you've got the wire. This is the stabilizer, stabilizer wire. Um, the stabilizers, right? Uh, these are the standoffs, the feet, right? and the gaskets so this is a gasket uh, keyboard so it's not uh, screw mounted um, this is the pcb board okay right here try not to damage it and this is the case itself very nice case uh, let's see let's try to open this up and there you go so the front cover comes off like this okay it's a little bit tight but yeah right so and then you get the faceplate and the bottom uh, silicone rubber okay and you get some foam okay so this is the foam that it comes with and on the inside you get the USB-C uh, with the cable that you need to plug in to the PCB board okay and on top of that, I bought myself some uh, switches, okay? So this is the cream switches, okay? Novel keys, cream linear switches, very nice uh, switches. So I'm going to install these. I already looped them. So I'm going to install these and uh, on, on the keyboard itself. And then I'll let, do a sound test, let you guys hear what these uh, switches sound like. Right, and also I bought myself the keycaps, and these are the GMK white on black clones. Right, so you heard me right, these are clones, these are not the actual GMK keycaps. Okay, so those are the things that I bought. So let's start building this keyboard. Okay, so the first step I'm going to do is to install the stabilizers. As you can see, I've already assembled the stabilizers on the wires. All you need to do is snap them on. It's pretty easy. If you can see, there are two holes here. Just need to insert the wire into the lower uh, hole and then just snap it in like so. As you can see, um, I can just show it out. Okay, it comes out like this. So it goes into the bottom hole and then you just snap them in twist them in and that's it right so these uh, stabilizers need to be screwed onto the uh, motherboard or well PCB board okay so the space bar goes here and this is the PCB board by the way you can see the LED and um, you can actually see some screw holes some holes on this side you can see the holes on this side uh, so you can actually Put the stabilizers in it okay and then at the back let's just flip it over um, at the back here you can see that you'll need to uh, install the screws which I have right here so let's just start with that okay just put this in place okay and then and it's a good thing that they provide a screwdriver okay so let's put the screws there <clears throat> Place. right so it goes in place like this right so the screw goes to the bottom side 
Okay, so just screw there. It's a little bit um, finicky. You need to have some finesse for installing this. Okay. Uh, let's try and get it into the hole. Right. Like so. You can see it's screwing in. Alright, you don't need to make it too tight. Just make sure it's not moving around. That'd be good enough. Alright, so that's the kind of uh, tightness you can get. Let's try the other side. Put the screw in. So, as you can see, the screw has gone in. Let's try that again. It's probably not threaded. And try not to um, strip the threads. Okay, if it doesn't go in, don't force it. Okay, because that will strip the threads. Okay, so this is fine. As I mentioned, not too tight. Okay, and that will be good enough. If it doesn't move, then it's, it's good enough. Alright, so I'm going to do for the rest and I'll be back with the next step. Okay, so I'm done with installing the stabilizers and the wires. So now let's put the foam. Okay, so this is the foam and before I install the foam, I am going to cut this one right here and this one right here. And for this, you need a pair of scissors. Okay, so just cut along this line. Okay, like so. And this one right here, just cut on this one. Okay, and you're done. So just put it in. This one, just slot it in here. And just let it rest. This one just slot in below. Maybe I should just slot this in first. Let's try that again. Wait, let's start from the middle. Okay, and then slot this one in. And then you slot this one in. go all right so let's put on the silicone now okay so this is the silicone the bottom silicone so just lay it on top all right okay and then put the front facing plate right like so Okay, and now I am going to install my switches. Okay, so let's take my switches out. Okay, let's pull them out. I don't need this anymore. All right, so remember the two pin. So make sure the two pin is aligned to the two pin on this side. And when you're installing the um, the switches try to support the board so that you don't press on the board itself okay
Okay, so as you can see, I have built and installed the switches. Now I am going to prepare the case so that I can mount this PCB board onto the case. So be right back. Okay, so as you can see, I have the case right here in front of me, the bottom uh, case and the top face plate. And I have the gas gaskets uh, here. And here you can see the long and the short gaskets. So the long gaskets will go along the um, horizontal side and the shorter ones will go onto the vertical sides. So let's start sticking. Okay, so I've installed all the gaskets. Now I am going to put the PCB board on top of the case. Okay, so but before I put it on, I need to connect the wire. So there is a small little wire here that connects to this part here. Okay, so just make sure you connect it properly. Let me just put the board down so that I can see. So let's put it on the gasket. It should rest on the gasket like that's like so. Okay, it's resting on the gasket. Okay, and then all I need to do is just put on the cover. Okay, close it up. And make sure there's a seal. And now I'm gonna flip it over and install the screws okay so you're gonna flip it over install the screws Okay, so as you can see, I'm done um, screwing the back of the keyboard. Okay, so I'm gonna install the feet. And here are the feet. All right, so I've installed this. Now, let's move on to the most fun part, installing the keycaps. Okay, so I have my keycaps here. Let's open this up. Okay, and let's start installing the keycaps. Okay guys, so I have installed all the keycaps and this looks so nice. Uh, black on white and the feet does work. You can put up the feet and you get a better angle. Okay, and it's so nice. The keys are so nice. Okay, so let's connect this to the computer and let's do a sound test.
Okay guys, so this is the typing test. Uh, you heard the sound of the keyboard. It's really nice and the keyboard is really, really sleek. All right, so that concludes my build uh, and tutorial on these uh, CIV Guest 67. It's the cheapest uh, DIY keyboard, uh, mechanical keyboard that you can find in the market uh, so far. And I strongly recommend to get this keyboard. It's really nice and easy to type with. It sounds nice as well. Uh, it sounds clacky. It doesn't sound um, clicky. Okay, so I like this type of clacky sound. Right, so that's it for this video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video or learned something from this video. And if you did, do consider to give this video a thumbs up. And also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Right, so I hope you guys have a great day ahead. Uh, and I'll hope to see you again in my next video. Peace.